Hi everyone, it's Eva here with a brand new Sims 4 speed build and my first ever face cam video because we hit a thousand subs. Can I just repeat this? One thousand subs? It's so crazy. I said a couple of times I would consider getting a face cam when we hit 1000 subscribers as a kind of thank you and for you guys to get to know me a bit better. So here we are. It's weird, but I like it. And talking of a thousand subs, I've been working towards this for the past six months or so to reach, finally reach a thousand subs and I genuinely can't believe it. So to honor the occasion, because this is really, really special to me, if you haven't noticed, I think I mentioned it like 10,000 times, but okay. To honor the occasion, I wanted to create something that's really, really cool, special, like big, something that I don't do all the time. And that's why I decided to build a massive castle. And yes, the entire speed build will take less than eight minutes. Who would have thunk it? I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, I wanted to create a castle that is very much like the Disney one, but less like cartoony. So I wanted to create like a romantic vibe with the kind of warm colorway, and I added lots of vines and plants and everything. It looks like a bit of a castle out of a fairy tale forest, um, which is the vibe I was going for because I really love those vines. Um, some of them are from Discover University from the debug section. I really love those and I think they're a great addition to the game. And I don't know why they're not in the game normally. Um, I just, I think they should have added them as normal plants. Same as the ones that I use. I think they are from Get Together. Don't quote me on that now. But yeah, in general, there was no like specific style I was going for. I just wanted it to be dreamy and romantic, which is also I think reflected very much in the surrounding landscape, but we'll get to that in a bit. A floor in this room is a bit slanted. So I feel like every time I speak, the chair just like moves towards one direction. I feel like I'm just rolling off at some point. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I wanna mention that I'm cutting out quite a bit of the building process that is very repetitive. For example, um, like plants, towers, windows, all of that stuff, because it's like all the same and very, very boring to watch. I literally spent, pff, I don't actually know how many hours, days on this, definitely, definitely a lot of time. And if I'd made all of that into a speed build, it would have literally been like <laughs> three hours long or something. Oh yeah, and about the interior, I've got to say a couple words about that too. Um, so I'm not gonna show you all the rooms being built because, well, they're not that interesting in my opinion. I think the exterior is much cooler and the rooms aren't really, yeah. I, it, they're just not like as great as the exterior in my opinion. <laughs> not to toot my own horn. Anyway, most of the items are from the celebrity, or is it fame, get famous pack? That's the one. And it's all like very typical castle, so it's not that interesting to me, but I did fully furnish it because I want you guys to be able to play in it. So yeah, that is that. And one thing I really enjoyed using for this build are debug items from, De debug items from Discover University. There we go. Why is it such a struggle to say expansion pack names? Ah, <gasps> um, yeah, I really enjoyed using items from Discover University from the debug. So other than the waterfall that I'm gonna use, which you'll see in a bit as well, I also use like the stair railings and the, the fence that is not the actual fence and railing, um, but the ones that you can place anywhere, they're like debug objects, so you can literally just alt hold them. And they're not like normal fences, which is great because it, it just gives you a bit of freedom when you're building. And I place those like along the bridge. The bridge is also from the debug, but I don't remember which pack it's from. The debug catalog is such a dark hole that I literally forget sometimes which pack has which items and they're all so similar. So I, I'm sorry, I don't remember, but um, yeah, the bridge is also from the debug. So I placed the railings along every bits of steps that I put and along the bridge and obviously the main steps, which I think I'm building towards the end of this video. I love them so much because they're not that perfect white of the fence, like the actual fence. It just, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look real. And I think these look really realistic. And also, I almost forgot, exciting news. There is a sale on Origin. Whee! And of course I had to strike, I mean, duh. I bought one more stuff pack, which was perfect for this occasion. I really, I really wanted this for when I build a castle and I think it's perfect. I bought the, oh, names, romantic garden stuff pack, romantic garden stuff pack. That's the one I bought. It's so adorable. I love the items. They're literally perfect for this castle. They match this style so much, like this romantic 
slightly Victorian. I don't know. Is it Victorian? I don't think it's Victorian. But yeah, this kind of romantic garden style because I did add like a kind of small garden area to the side of the castle for which I use primarily items from that pack. I've been wanting that pack for so long and I was always like, oh, do I need it? I don't know. But now I had the perfect excuse for this castle. It just, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh, and obviously I had to build a waterfall for this build. It was just like, you know, what's perfect for a castle that's impressive, that's really cute. So yeah, I built a waterfall again. A lot of people keep asking how I do these waterfalls. They're not custom content because that's just not me, I'm sorry. So the waterfall is actually from Discover University, again, from the debug section. There's actually two, but there's also a waterfall in Island Living that is a bit different. So yeah, they're all different. I think this one works best for this build. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this video and you would like to see more speed builds like this one and more face cams maybe, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. I would really love to see you guys more often. Anyway, I'm afraid the speed build is coming to an end now, but stick around for the final tour so you see like the entire castle. What did you think of the face cam? Do you like it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I honestly can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!